Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to another episode of Starbound. So we're currently in the one point, what is it, 1.2? I think it's 1.2. Uh, unstable branch. And as you can see here, there is a new fellow here at the outpost who shows up after you beat the rune. He uh, looks very, very mysterious here. So let's give him a, ooh, little uh, maggot man there. But anyway, let's talk to our friend here. The winds whisper of what you have done. You have ventured far, young one, but there are still doors you have yet to open. I can trade keys with you if you wish to open the ancient gates scattered among the stars. Sure, we'll accept that. All right, so for a stick of ram, you will trade us a vault key. Now, because I just want to kind of show this stuff off, and we're in admin mode, uh, <laughs> ram, is it? Hang on a second. Stick of ram. And we'll just spawn in, you know, a thousand of them. Why not? For a key. Oh, you need even more. Interesting. All right, well. Listen, I have no problem cheating in this stuff for the sake. Oh, good. I actually got it right the first try. There are 990. Just a random number. Here, hey, wait, come back. I'm not done. I'm not done with you yet. Stop moving around while I'm trying to take these. Ferosium. Alrighty then. Ferosium. I mean, again, you know, this is just for the sake of showing off as much as possible. As quickly as possible. And a sample. I wonder. I'm assuming this is almost just random, maybe? Maybe not. Maybe there is a specific number of these. At Excel. I and most of these things, I'd be able to get these off of our Fluffalo friends. Yeah, there we go. Stick of Ram, Scorched Cores. I mean, how many how many keys do I have at this point? I have seven keys. I'm sure. Alright, we'll we'll spawn in some scorched cores and then we'll we'll call that good enough, won't we? I think that'll be good enough. Scorched core. There we go. Hey, come stop moving around, man. Honestly, I'm Trying to have a conversation with you, and you know, you're just running it. All right, one more, because I want to have a nice even 10 keys. So we're probably not going to see a 10 volts biolium. There we are. Bloop. And I mean, I could keep going, but I think we have enough keys. So let's let's check it out. All right. So he mentioned something about an ancient gateway. So I, I I bet if I looked around, I would be able to find a way to like, spawn one of these things in. Just as an item. Is this what you're talking about? Ancient gateway? Ancient gateway of unknown provenance? An edifice of great power and mystery? Well, let us be on our way. And, well, I'll just... Sure, it's Christmas time. Why not? Let's play some Christmas music here. Which actually makes me think I should probably have dressed the part, but now eh, we're just jumping in for the unstable, seeing what kinds of cool stuff is there. And naturally, we'll get back to playing the game properly once this hits the stable branch, then we can have all kinds of cool fun. All right, so here we are at our fancy ancient gateway. I'm assuming that the last race is whoever that guy in the suit is. Well, suit the hood, really. I actually wonder kind of if there uh, if there is a plan to very explicitly reveal this final race. I know in, like, way back in Early Access, there was a brief time where there was, like, an eyeball. Like, an eyeball that looked sort of like this eyeball right here, indicating possibly some kind of tentacle people. But it is kind of one, or, you know, it's a question. Because, I mean, you have the six races that the, you know, the great old one gave his, uh, or the protector, the builder, or the architect. I forget, what was that guy's name? Anyway, you know, he gave to these six races, Nova Kid were made from his exploded body parts, and then... Maybe the final race is, was made from, you know, the exploded chunks of the ruin that we blew up. Makes you wonder. Alrighty then. Wow. There's a time limit on this? Also, oh, hello. I've arrived at an ancient vault. I wonder what secrets these runes hide. I think I should take a look around. But, I mean, what fun would this be if 
There was no chance of dying. Ooh. Ancient essence. Um. Oh, okay. Scared me for a second there, game. It's taking a while to load it. Ooh, hello. Discontent. This fragmented plaque has impossibly ancient inscriptions on it. Which, of course, we could translate if we took the time to, you know, actually use our ancient translator thing. But actually, I've seen on the uh, Stellaris subreddit, someone has actually already pieced all this together and translated it. So, go look there if you're interested. And I I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll see some, like, the translation pop up elsewhere. You know, it occurs to me, now that there is actually a chance I can die, I should probably make sure I have some... Elf. I mean, as you can see right there, I'm actually already pretty close to death, and I don't think I have a lot of ingredients to make healing-y stuff. In fact, I don't have that at all, so I guess I better be careful. Uh oh this, this guy is coming in here. Oh, but he blew up. So everything drops this ancient essence stuff, which I assume is the key to, uh, you know, life, the universe, and everything. So, yeah. Clearly, once we collect, what is it, 42 pieces, we'll, we'll unlock true enlightenment or something ever. Also, it's interesting now that I notice here, it would appear that some of these beasties... I'm gonna die in this lava pit. I'm, I'm, I'm just prophesizing that right now. It's been a while since I've played Starbound, and... I mean, if you've watched me long enough, you probably know I'm generally incompetent at, uh, not falling to my death in hot, boiling liquids. So, uh, there is that. Uh, somehow I avoided dying there. I mean, that's, uh... Are you gonna just magically shut off at some point? I hope not. I like this place, though. It's pretty cool. And everything drops this ancient essence, which is, in fact, required for the ever-cool update that's here, which is, if you've been reading the patch notes, you'll know they have added terraforming. Which is pretty cool, because it lets you, as the name might suggest, terraform planets. Which means, it, it it's particularly useful, I assume, or, for instance, if you... Oh god. And I'm... Oh god, I'm burning to death. Please don't burn to death. It, if you want a, a higher tier planet that has, like, a lush biome or, you know, something that is generally a bit more accommodating to life and not dying. Why is everything on fire? Especially me. I don't like this. I am... I am burning to death. I'm already prophesizing my death here. I, I should mention that. Unless I resort to admin mode, which I, I really don't want to do. I mean, for the sake of just showing stuff off, I, I guess I could. And in fact, I might, at this point, cut away until we get to the end of this particular vault. And then, when we get there... Also, just because I feel like mentioning it, these vaults, to me, clearly appear to be basically higher level versions of the challenge rooms that you can already find elsewhere. And it kind of makes you wonder what kind of implied story might or might not be going on here. I mean, who built these places? Why did they build- oh god, stop, stop trying to burn me alive, my good crab man. Anyway, but yeah. All kinds of questions, and I walked right into that like an idiot. But anyway, I will see you guys once I have either succumbed to my inevitable death, or have reached the end of this thing, so see you guys in a moment. Well, actually that didn't take very long at all. There's the boss right there, Mr. Fire Golem Man. But before we go in there, I, I am going to finish looting this place, so I will see you guys again momentarily. Okay, so, 5,000 years later, this this dungeon is really big, and I probably didn't even find all the secret passages and nooks and crannies that are hiding in it, but now it's time to fight uh, Mr. Lava Golem Man, whose name is Hyria. Oh, shite. Oh, I am dead. I am... I am so deceased. Please no. Please no. I mean, what did I ever do to you, man? Well, how do I kill this guy? Uh, yeah. My my friend? I mean, do you really want to kill me? I mean, 
No. Oh, jeez. Why? Okay. So you're... You are really strong, sir. I, I, I see that now. Uh, do I... I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I fight this guy. Oh, dear. I do know I'm dying, though. That's, uh... Hmm. He's a puzzle boss, no doubt. Oh, shite. I, I can't help but wonder. I mean, he does appear to be some kind of, uh... What do these things do? Hello? Oh! I, I, I'm not entirely sure I know what I did. Did I matter manipulate him? Is that it? No, that can't be right. Wait, did I get him to attack his own thingamabob? Is that, is that how we do this? Oh, that is how we do this. Okay, so you gotta get him to smash... His own little, uh, oh dear. I get him to smash his little, uh, little purpley things over there. I gotcha. Alright, okay. Alright, yeah, come get me, bro. Okay, that didn't work that time. I did something wrong. Or did I? These salves are terrible. Oh, wait, there it is again. I did. I, I am getting something right here. Oh, I see. I, I, I can't just stand there. I can't. I, I, that's that's just. Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? That's a scary thing is what that is. No, please don't. Please don't. Oh, God. Don't do that. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, I'm de I am so deceased. And yet, somehow, I am still alive. Okay. Yes. Attack your... Attack your little uh, thingamabob there, Hyria. I'm assuming there's more than one boss here. Oh god, please, please no. My lasers! I can't quite reach enough. Only oh god. Why? Oh, wait, what am I thinking? Like, why do I make life harder on myself? I could have just used the spike spear to hide on the ceiling. Like, come on. That, like, that would have made too much sense, though. So, I didn't do it. That's why. Please don't. Please don't. Oh god. Yeah, just just hide. Hide like this. Aha! Now you can't hurt me. Oh. Wingy. And okay, down we go. Then we get him to attack. Yes! And then you kill yourself by smashing your own power generators. You figure like after the first, you know, five dozen times of him doing this, he would have figured out my trickery, but apparently not, so, you know, I'll just hide up here on the ceiling, where he can't hurt me. Ah, uh, God bless the Spike Spear. What would I do without it? Probably die a horrible death, to be honest with you, like, let's, uh, let's not kid ourselves here. I would be completely deceased by this point. If, oh dear, oh well, that's easy enough. I'll just hide up here on the ceiling again. Oh, Hyria, you and your predictable patterns. Took me a moment to figure them out, but I finally did it. I mean, I knew there had to be something special about those purpley things. You wouldn't just give us purpley things for no reason. You did manage to hit me there a little, but I am getting back at you with my lasers. You're of the utmost importance to not allow myself to get hit by. Well, your lasers something. What am I saying? I have no idea. It's words. It's all words, man. Oh god. That was probably less intelligent, I'll be honest with you. Dang it! You missed! Could you, uh, could you do that again? Yes! Aha! He walked into it anyway! Uh, oh, please don't explode in a horrible fashion and murder me. I'll just hide here. Oh! Alright. Well, he did explode. Fortunately, not in a horrible fashion, but in a very, very spectacular, a floral microtransformer, which to me sounds like I could turn a planet into a lush planet, or something like that, or at least into a, what does it do? Let's have a look at it. You also notice all of this from just kind of speeding my way through the story on the unstable build. Transforms an area of a planet into a patch of giant flowers. Oh, so you get flowery people. And what does this do? Jungle terraformer. Lush terraformer, icy terraformer, as you can see, ooh, prairie terraformer. Sandy, scorched, snowy, volcanic, wooded. So, I mean, you can get a lot of good stuff here. I mean, 
plush. That's pretty nice. A mutant. That's interesting. And a dark, if you want a nice dark planet for some for some reason. Uh, and it, oh, oh, also a, a good thing to show off here. As you can see, the, uh, the ancient essence is a new kind of currency. And in fact, they, the developers of Chucklefish have designed it as such so that it is now possible to mod in all kinds of your own currencies, which I think is pretty cool. Don't you? I like it. Also, how long has this sort function been here? Ah, uh, the things you learn the longer you play a game. As you can see, it's kind of expensive. It looks like if you grind through an entire, um, an entire vault, and trust me, these things are pretty big, you'll get just enough to be able to make one terraformer to transform one planet. And I, I guess we should, you know what, let's, let's just take a wooded terraformer here. And we'll test this out. Also, there's this fancy anvil doohickey here, which as you can see, uh, if you happen to have, this kind of works like those, um, those weapon upgrade station thingies that I have shown off in previous mod spotlights, except it's specifically for your legendary boss weapons. And I'm assuming anything, anything that is of legendary quality. So, for instance, I had the Hero Sword. I assume I could upgrade that as well. And it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Uh, we, we won't look at it right now, but we will, of course, uh, examine this in more detail in the future. Frankly, I might just <laughs> spawn this stuff in somewhere because it looks cool. I would love to have some kind of ancient factory thing going on here. But anyway, let's go home for now. And basically, let us just plop this down here. Down. Some, somewhere. Oh, well, it's... Ah, I should have known. Rocks, my hated enemy. Alright, so... Oh, we actually need essence. Okay. Let's see. Spawn item. Ancient essence. Will it really be this simple? Oh, right. Admin mode. Let, let's see. No. Essence? Oh, wow, that was easy. All right, essence, and then we'll just spawn in, you know, like 10 bajillion essences, because why not? All right, so as you can see, terraforming in progress. I, I have to assume I don't have to keep it open the whole time. And it'll just kind of chug along here. This kind of makes me think a little bit of uh, one of the, uh, the plans for Terraria Overworld, doesn't it? Anyway, so as we can see, the terraformer is just kind of sitting here. I have no idea. Oh, I have no idea how much real time it'll take to convert everything. But as we can see here, it has in fact terraformed uh, part of the planet. You know, to be honest, I actually wouldn't mind terraforming. I, I wouldn't mind keeping the background. Let's see. So how much progress did that do? All right. So this is what the halfway point. Oh, hello. Oh! Oh! I see. All right. Oh. Well, all right. So as you can see, I mean, you don't have to terraform the entire planet. You can just terraform part of it. Hello there, Mr. Monster Men. And, all right, all right. A thousand sectors or whatever we're terraforming here exactly. And I assume... Once it is finished, uh, it'll change the background and everything. But, you don't necessarily have to do that. And of course, you have your little microformers here, which will turn effectively just one area of a planet. In fact, I assume specifically, like that, this would be like a flower mini biome. And I, I would assume, while we're at it, that uh, I can't interact with you right now. I would assume while we're at it that, um, yeah, it's coring all the way down to the planet, or it's terraforming all the way down to the planet core here. I assume it'll, I'm actually, I, I'm kind of concerned about wandering too far away, just in the, uh, in the event that it, you know, unloads the area here. I, I suppose what I should do is uh, I'll cut away again, and we will give it a moment just to see 
how much exactly we can get this to terraform before the end of this episode. Ah, there we go. So we have now terraformed the planet. It is now going to have, well, forest world music and backgrounds and cool stuff going on there, which is very nice, I think. Um, yeah, so, I mean, you could probably get some interesting stuff going on here, like, especially if you only wanted to terraform just a small area in which to build, like, on a volcanic world. So you could have a, a somewhat nicer looking area, but still having the volcanic area, or maybe you only want to terraform part of a, a wasteland kind of world, or this would also be really good for terraforming those barren planets. I, I kind of wonder if terraforming a barren planet would keep it as having like no monsters, but it would then you know actually get the music and the the design and the, the niceness of a, of a non-barren planet. That, that's something we'll have to look into as well, I reckon. We'll just kind of pop this terraformer now. All right, good. We get it back. That would have been very unfortunate if we didn't. But anyway, yeah. So basically, lets you terraform worlds, make them somewhat more accommodating to your wishes and desires and dreams for what a perfect world would look like. And just generally get some fun with it, which is, you know, always pleasant. And I, I, I for one, really like this. It... it is really good and it keeps the fret level of the planet that's the big thing so you can have high tier worlds getting lots of delicious delicious money from your attendants and other stuff but uh you don't have to necessarily if you don't like the aesthetics of you know only building high level volcano colonies or something like that you can now get around that which is pretty cool and the ancient vaults are also pretty nifty as well, and I'm assuming there's going to be several different varieties, all of which will have unique bosses that we will, of course, want to fight in the future. But for now, I think that's going to do it for this little sneak peek at what is coming in the not-too-distant future. Chucklefish did seem to imply that we'll probably be seeing this hit stable very, very soon. Dare I say, even next week. I mean, that's just me speculating there. There's been no promises or any confirmed release dates. But, you know, here's hoping. So, in the meanwhile, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video.